through the audio works. Yeah, that's better. What up, G's? I'm hoping that you guys are going to stick around and and see some of the stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to start the topics right now. Um, we're going to open up the Omen. I already started the, took the liberty of opening the Omen. And we're going to start with the upgrade. And I hope you guys can hear me. Can all of you guys hear me? They're coming in. Thank you guys for joining. We're going to give it a couple minutes. We're going to... Do a little rerun. I do want to disconnect a couple things. I do want to start cutting out a couple connections here. We're going to replace this power supply, which is uh, the current power supply that I have here. It's about, oh, shoot. It's about, let me see. I can't even see from the lights too bright here. It's made in China. And it's, I think it's 520 or 550 or something like that. But we're going to replace it. We can't handle this. Total of 470 says maximum. So. It's a bronze. It's made in China. So we're going to replace it with another China product and see if we could get um, more power supply in here, this unit. So if you guys are not familiar with the Omen, it's my work. It's my workhorse, to be honest with you. Um, I, I pretty much do all sorts of things with it. I do everything with it, from graphics to gaming to streaming. And um, I pretty much, this is the workhorse that I have right now. We're going to start disconnecting and cutting out a couple of items in here. I have a couple of cleaning solutions in here. Um, I'm static free. This is wood that I'm working on. And I'm going to start with the zip ties, of course. Zip ties, trash. We're going to replace the power supply. But before that, I just want to make sure everything's disconnected off the, the system prior for me to start in because it does have a couple of... Um, connections and if you guys can't see let me know i'll move i'll move my my big cabezota out of here because um some of you guys wanted um to know about how to do this and it's a perfect opportunity to do it so these are the actual power supplies that i have here these are extended extended power supplies so they're all here i'm gonna put them to the side these are just the the power supply if you guys see them for the video card only and we're running on a gtx uh uh, GeForce RTX 10, uh, no, 2080 Ti video card. It's a, it's a monster. We're going to put it on the side here. Now, we're going to go for the hardest part. And the hardest part Luke is getting this. I actually just bought the HP Omen. Not as powerful as that one, but it's fine for what I use it for. It, it's a great machine, I'm telling you. It's one of the best machines I've, I've had. You're lucky that machine is, is really a workhorse. But if you want to learn how to change the power supply in this one, maybe you want to stick around. It's up to you. Uh, or if you could, you know, maybe subscribe and come back later and check out the video. We're going to replace it with we have replace it with one of these workhorse right here. We're EVGA 1000 GQ. If you guys can see it. Oh, it's too close by probably. Let me see. Yeah, EGVGA GQ. So we're going to replace it with this this video card here. All right. Um, this was donated to me. So it's sponsored by Mr. Tanap, uh, a colleague of mine. He's sponsoring. He's giving it to me um, for me to use it, which is great. Um, I'm going to replace this one. So for, in order for me to replace it, there's a couple of reasons I want to replace this. Um, I got a better video card, and it's taking more power assumption. Not only that, when I do LAN parties, uh, I put multiple cameras. I do a lot of cameras on it. Oh, scare the crap out of me. Thank you for joining us, man. In here. So what I do when I, I do a LAN parties, we want to make sure all the power supplies are, are, run, are efficient enough to retain the power on the video cams. So what I happen to notice that every time I plug in a certain video camera, it, it completely dies out. It will not start. It's a power issue. Not enough power for the USBs to run it. So in order for me to do that, we're going to go ahead and replace it. And it's a little difficult to replace the power supply because you're going to have to get your hands dirty on both ends. Um, like I said, I'm on a wood area. I'm a static free area. I don't have any, any static in here. So I'm able to work from this area. I don't have any carpets. I'm working on concrete. I don't need any bracelets or anything. Um, this is probably the only thing that has static in here, but I'm not touching the motherboard. I'm trying to avoid touching the motherboard. What we're going to do is just replace it. So a lot of you were asking me about how to replace the LED lights. You could replace the LED lights. Let me see if I can show you guys here. Yeah. The LED lights are right here. 
by disconnecting these and it's just three light bulbs that you could replace you could put any colors you want you could go go behind and, and replace the other ones they're very simple to do that maybe if you guys want to know more we want to change colors let me know if you guys are not interested in keeping the red i can do that and modify it so right now i'm going to show i'm going to go a little bit in depth in here and show you what we're having all right this one is fully loaded on memory it, it's it's uh 4200 i think it's a 42 megahertz memory i'm not quite sure i forgot the the speed on it but it, it was a top notch when i got them right each one 16 it's 16 a piece right now so you're fully loaded we don't have no more space other than the motherboard only gives you four slots which is bad but the new motherboards are coming out it, it's replaceable now People are asking me, can you replace the motherboard in here? And uh, I'll tell you, unfortunately, there's not enough space for the new type of motherboards, you know. Um, it seems like there is, but just taking measurements from my last one to this one, I don't think you're going to be possible. Uh, it's not going to be possible because you could fit it in here, but you're going to have to modify certain things, you know. So the only thing uh, I, I would suggest is maybe get a new desktop, but you're going to eliminate the, far of the front um, power panels where you have the actual power connections for your power supplies for your for your hard drives so you might eliminate that on the next version but that's the only thing i really like about this machine i like that the power hard drives are right in the front of it you can take them out replace them anytime you want it's very convenient for me oh you know what in fact i found a piece of tape earlier i was looking for it and i dropped the piece of tape and um i couldn't find it i was like damn it's gonna burn out my system somehow in there so right now that I was talking to you guys, I found a piece of tape earlier. It came off from here. It was loose. So what we're going to do today is, you know, regular maintenance. You want to make sure you clean it up. When you have access to this panel, I already cleaned this one earlier, like a while back. Uh, last week, actually, I cleaned it. But you're still going to get dust bunnies. Oof, oof, real strong dust bunnies. Uh, I hope you guys have a good angle. If you guys don't have a good angle of this, let me know. So if you got this HP, it's a really good HP. But there's two flaws on this machine. You're limited to 250 megabytes per second. That's it. It's capped. No matter what you do, no matter what you try to do and download the driver and everything, you're going to be capped to that 250, which sucks. I have an internet speed of 500, uh, 450, no, 400, 400 megahertz by 60 megahertz by 60 down uh, it sucks i can't get over the hump of the 250 this machine will not do it the video card the nick card that's available it's not for it's not made for that i mean i thought i call service desk i call their support line they could not help me my cheaper machine that has cheap video card cheap everything runs faster on the internet than this one that's the only disappointment i had on it so if you it's capped at 250 if you don't believe me do the testing if you have a newer model maybe the new models that they replace the motherboard might have that additional speed bump so today what i'm going to try to do if you guys notice i have no more room for any nick cards or anything like that it's completely covered in so what i have right now it's this this freaking video card taking all the space and then along with this card right here which is elgato card it's a Elgato gaming capturing card. I love this card. I'm not going to replace it. Uh, I wish I had another space so I could actually fill in the blanks in here for that extra nick card. But unfortunately, if I do that, I need a better machine on that. I would have to probably replace this whole thing. So I'm thinking about get, upgrading this computer all around. Uh, maybe keeping the same content, like keeping the a, a, um, the water cooling system, keeping the Intel, and maybe um, replacing it with a whole new desktop because honestly um this motherboard is not the greatest motherboard i mean it's it does the job it's a great motherboard for what you want it for gaming and stuff like that but like i say internet speeds you're capped at 250 250 is a lot don't get me wrong it's a lot but if you're paying for 400 and you're not getting the 200 somebody's getting jip here you know so think about it put the math together so that's why my suggestion is like check your settings run the speeds if go on the internet if you don't have 250 you're not going to run the internet and speeds because that's 250 only for those people that have fiber and other places there that are capped at one ter uh, one one gigabyte download speed make sure that you are getting that one gigabyte download speed and there's plenty of sites you go uh what i normally do i just put 
DSL speed tests and everybody company every company comes out use start using Google's to begin with you know it's a free you just put speed test on the Google browser it'll give you a little meter where you just hit speed and it'll start testing itself obviously this machine is capped and I tried everything I mean uh, I work in I work in the field with this kind of I work in hardware like this all the time and believe me I was stump on this one I tried every single thing the only thing the conclusion came out is to replace the NIC card. Unfortunately, I do not have space for a NIC card. This motherboard only has two slots. If you guys see it, they are available and they're completely full right now. So my thing is maybe look at your your thing to to make sure you get the right speeds. But that's like I said, only those people that have the 250 megs. It, it's overkill on some of these places. Yeah, I, I understand. But if you're doing streaming, you're doing content like I am, you know, constantly on, then it's gonna become a problem. So what I have to do is I have to make sure that when I'm streaming, I'm not going to stream on this one. I'm probably going to stream on the secondary. And right now, we're not streaming on this machine. We're streaming on my secondary. That machine caps at 400. 400 gigs per second. And I can show you guys what I'm talking about. This one only goes to 250. I can't go over the hump. So just to make sure. Now, another thing I did, if you guys notice, there's a, there's a M.2 card that I did. I replaced it. Let me see if I can get in there. If you guys see it, it's the Evo 780, um, 790 or 70. Oh no, 970. Sorry. Oh my bad. 970 one terabyte M.2. That's I did replace it. I cloned it with the last one it has. Is and if you buy Samsung, it's really easy to replace. Now I did have a problem cloning it. Uh, because the the reader is a little different. It's an M.2. It's a different format. It has a little extra uh, cut at the end. So readers are not going to be easy to handle. So I do have a NIC card that actually was able to um, place here temporary. And I was able to print, uh, put the card in there and it cloned it. So it, I could do a video on the net if you guys are interested in how to clone that stuff. And But you are going to require to buy certain things. Um, they do have certain uh, USB readers that these M.2 go in, but this is a newer version. It has the two cuts, and you might not have the right version, all right? So consult with your manual, see what you're buying, and make sure it's going to fit here, and it's going to fit the place that you're going to clone it from, too. Any questions anybody has out there before we commence? Because we're going to start. Let me see if I could move a little back. I want to get you guys in every angle, make sure that you guys understand what we're going to disconnect so right now we're just disconnected we disconnect the, the power supply for the gpu which is a, a um, R, um, rtx uh, 2080 ti card we just disconnected that uh just to keep you informed this machine comes with a 1080 well older newer versions come with the 1080 ti uh that's what it actually arrived it came with the 1080 ti i do have it somewhere around here um but i replaced it with this bad boy here um uh, and i'm not that much impressed it's a, it's a Good thing with the gaming, uh, Battlefield, um, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, they work really well. They're made for this card. Any new game coming out, uh, maybe Anthem, I did sign up for the beta. I'm going to be streaming beta live for the Anthem. If you guys didn't sign up, December 8th, uh, I think it's a, December 8th is a Saturday. It, it might be, it's a Saturday from 2 p.m. Eastern time to 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be streaming that game all day. So if you guys want to check it out, I did sign up. I got included in, uh, for two versions, PS4 and PC. So I'm going to be streaming for both systems so you guys can see the difference. I'm going to put high-end quality so you guys can see. But now I want to make sure I have the right power supply. So we're going to replace the power supply today. Um, this power supply doesn't have a button off right now to turn it off. No, normally, a lot of them do. So we're going to replace it with, like I said, if you guys are new, it's a 1000 GQ. Uh, it, this is the gold edition. Um, Right now we do have a bronze edition here, so this is 80 plus gold, which is a little better. The quality, it just depends on the quality, you know. There's platinum, there's other quality. I have not seen the difference. I'm not a very technical guy on those things. I just pretty much replace them and go to ready to go. So it could be the bronze, silver, rock, wood. I don't care. I could I could care less. As long as it does the job, that's what I'm here for. So today we're gonna see if we could actually get more for your buck. So we're gonna go ahead and start unplugging things here and disconnecting things this is a real tight connection here so I have two of them that I have to disconnect we're gonna start with the CPU which is connected in the back 
and it's a little difficult to get out of it but this is it this is the CPU it's all the way to the back and it goes through the back and I'm gonna show you guys how to open the back because I had a little problem and I had to find something to kind of lo loosen it up so let me start with the next part too if I if my hands get in the way let me know guys um, I hope you guys could capture everything or for future references okay that's the motherboard connection right here so we loosen up that's pretty much everything you need from this end we're gonna have to flip it around so bear with me whatever you guys see in the back it's dust bunnies dust clean it out I haven't opened it since I got it this is the first time I open it I just loosen up the screws right now so what you guys got to do let me let me see if I could show you guys here on the side of it right here so there's two screws on here all right all you got to do is to remove these two screws uh, you do need something to loosen up and pull back I end up using a flathead here to actually pull this thing back so I just opened it up just a little bit so I could see enough that it's loose so if don't panic if it didn't open the first time don't panic loosen up the screws put something sharp or something flat in there pull back and it'll automatically loosen up you don't have to hit this eject button up here no more it's only made for this side the eject button is only for the glass part of it, not for the back of it. So just to let you guys know. Jax? Sorry, I got a dog here that. Jax? Okay. I just wanted to see you're here. You're fine, dog. All right. So we're going to open it up. Ooh, man. I'm going to remove this case here. Move, dog. Oh, man. So we're going to open and flip it on the other side. I'm going to be careful because I got to very fragile video card I don't want to mess it up here we go so on this one right here it's a CD player that's hidden in the back if you guys see it let me see if you guys see it it's a CD player that I, I freaking didn't even know I had a CD player for a long time to be honest with you I, I tend to like skip it out all the time it's funny because a lot of these power supply go straight to the back and um, I don't even know how you connect this one I guess it's part of it. I hope it's part of the motherboard. I hope it's not part of the power supply, but we'll find out. Now, like I said, on the other side, this is the the CPU part. This is very important. And I'm hoping I have a long cable, enough long cable to actually be able to extract this stuff. So I'm just going to send this one to the back. Make sure, let me see something on my Twitch account because um, I had a problem earlier. It wasn't streaming properly. And we just got to make sure it's on there. If you guys have any questions or any comments, I want to be able to capture that stuff and um, make sure that we're going to the right part. So we got that part going. Let me see. Give me a second. I just want to make sure everything, every question that you guys have is getting captured and we're not losing anybody's valuable information or because I want you guys to come back and use this as a reference if you ever get this machine. If you ever want to upgrade your stuff. I got some great tips on this machine. Uh, like I said, I use this primary as my bread and butter for everything. So I suggest if you ever encounter the same issues I am, maybe you want to um, come back to this video and maybe help you out. So this red one right here is the one I need to track down. Where is it coming from? If it's connected to the, to the power supply, we're going to have an issue because this power supply I don't have this one but I, I don't have an issue because I've never used the CD player ever so we're just gonna probably remove this one and if you guys notice here's the antenna the wireless antenna it runs to the back too Let's see if you guys see this there we go so this is the power supply the, I mean the antenna the antenna for the wireless right here these are the SATA connections the, uh, the USB connections and then we have the SATA connections they all connect to the motherboard. So some of the stuff is custom made. And let me take advantage of where I'm here in the back. Not often I come back there, you know. So today we were able to. So some I got to loosen up right here this cable and bring it back to the back. But before I do that, let me see if I could disconnect these two right here. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to disconnect these two. I'll connect them back in a bit. We don't need them now, but they're extract. They're 
there in the ops there's an obstacle there so we're gonna see if we can put it back in here bear with me while I move these things back and forth I just gotta make sure they they do follow through So I do see it here. There's various connection. It's really tight. It's a tight, really, really tight. Um, whew. I might have to uh, remove a couple of things in here and cut out a couple of other things here too because this stuff right here is it's it's oh, oh oh it's loose it's loose it's loose good good. I think I'm gonna have to remove this. We're gonna have to remove the video card, guys. So video card has to come out. I don't want to damage it. Yeah, I don't want to damage this. Ex the video card is like 1300 bucks. You know, you don't want to damage something like that. So we want to make sure that you remove all the screws. And it came out. Like I said, video card's out. RTX 2080 Ti, awesome card. Um, ready to mingle here. We're gonna put this on the side somewhere very fragile that we don't on wood. Make sure it's on wood or something, right? So now we have more access to move move around here. Now I see these cables. They're connected. They're really tight. They're and they're getting bent by this one right here. I'm gonna have to remove them and then reconnect them. So this one right here, it says light. So they're very, their cable really, they're, they're labeled really good. One says light, so I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna disconnect it for now. There we go, that's light, that's the light one. So the light goes on the right. So I'm gonna remove that one and the other one. I only think I only need one to replace, so which is not bad. So only one of them had to remove, and then um, I'm gonna plug it back in. I don't want to lose the connection there. So oh, shit. the the needle's bending on that one, so I gotta be careful on that one. So I don't want to damage it, but that's just the light. So we we're good with the light, and I if I notice right now on the on the motherboard, it seems like only. This power supply is connecting, and um, the other ones, like this one right here, goes underneath. Uh, we're gonna have to remove this part too. Uh, but for now, we're gonna send this one to the other side. Send it back to the back, so it won't extract. It won't be in our way. Let's replace this one. Man, this is hard right here. Oh, finally, this is the cable. Oh, oh, I bent this one. Sorry, my bad. So this is what I did. I removed it from here. I took it back out, and I'm gonna send. I'm gonna tuck it back in. I'm not gonna tuck it out. No. This is. I'm not gonna tuck it in yet. I'm gonna keep it out here right now. Let me see if I get. If you guys can see it. So this is the motherboard. Just remove the motherboard. It has all the pins ready. Uh, we're gonna send it back in a bit like I said I might not have the CD player but I, I don't really mind the CD player so it's okay with me uh, if I don't have that power now seems like I do have to send this one back too. underwater world hi hey underwater world how you doing man I saw your little videos man you need to do some editing <laughs> so let me see this is going here we're gonna tuck it back in in a bit but let's see what what else do we need to remove because I see another power supply. All the power supply is really tucked in in here, and it, it's a little difficult to to remove some of it without damaging them the anything. So right now I'm gonna remove this in a bit, but then we have to start removing these two. So this is part of it. I'm gonna remove it, send it to the back. Now there's another part here, the power supply for. Underwater world. I don't do editing. Yeah, you need to practice on that. 
So if you guys see the other power supply for all the, the it's it's right here, and this part right here it's gonna have to be disconnected unfortunately. So I'm gonna disconnect one part only. Underwater world, can you edit my video? No, I I, I can't edit your videos. You're gonna have, I only I could teach you how to do stuff. That's the only thing. I don't do people other videos. I don't even have time for my videos sometimes. So why would I wanna do your videos? And then the thing is. Don't ask for things, you know, learn them, get, educate yourself, go on the web, on YouTube, learn everything. That's what it is for. That's what we create videos. So like it, you heard of the thought, you know, you know, you could, you could teach somebody to fish or, or he'll starve to death if you don't, you know, kind of one of those things, you know, so I got to teach you how to fish. <laughs> so we're going to replace we're going to remove these and these right here are all tucked in in the back they're really tight in fact let me remove the hard drives that's the left and then we're going to do the right what you want me dog All right, so we replaced, we removed all the hard drives that were in here, so I could see better through the back. See if I'm missing anything. But underwater world, can you tell me the best app for editing my videos in mobile? You could use uh, if you have an iPhone, you could use uh, iMovie. It's a, it's pretty good, pretty simple. Um, there's a lot of applications out there for you. I mean, if if you you gotta search them, you gotta search. I can't tell you what's best for mobile. I don't use mobile to edit at all, to be honest with you. I can't help you with that. I, I I only help out with little stuff that's easy for me. Like uh, I use Filmora and Adobe um, Premiere. How big of a power supply do you have? Right now it's 500. We're gonna replace it to for a 1,000. We're we're gonna replace it with a 1,000 GQ. That's what's going on here. But I'm seeing what's there's a lot of customary stuff that has to remove. I'm going to lose the CD player in here. I don't think I'm going to have access to a CD player, but I never used the CD player, so I could I could live with it without it. So right now we're replacing. I took out the video card. I, I removed the video card completely. Hold up. And now we're going to try to see if I can send the cables back all Lone the way Star. to the back. Hello. What's up, Lone Star? How you doing? We're replacing the power supply and the omen. That's what we're doing right now. So... If you guys just noticed, I can't came in right now. We're gonna try to see. World. Are you going to play Call of Duty for Black Ops? Uh, maybe, maybe later. I was playing earlier with Stagger, and um, he had to leave, but I might be able to play later. So I just noticed this power supply here it goes. It's tucked in the back, so we're gonna twist it to the back, see where it goes. I'm trying to follow the power supply where it goes and I don't see it back here I think it's being extracted by I did find one here okay I found one right here this one if you guys see on the side camera um, I'm gonna block it out a little bit but I'm gonna try to see if I could get the secondary the secondary is this one right here and it has to be this one the one that goes down there so I, I found it. I just need to remove it and send it back. So this is a custom. What has been the best upgrade you have done to it so far? Oh, let me show you. I think I think it's putting a Elgato capture card and the memory and putting this um, RTX 2080 Ti. Um, I add it in there. The, so really good replacements for the machine. Add it the additional memory and the best thing the one number one thing is the hard drive upgrading the hard drive when you buy this it comes with 500 uh, now it's a terabyte in the m.2 for my os uh, adding additional hard drives i do a lot of video editing in here so i carry a lot of stuff in here so that's probably the best thing i've done upgraded the hard drive number one just upgrading this is a 970 but right now, if you buy the 850, I think it's about a hundred under a hundred bucks, 120. Uh, you can find them real cheap. 
You don't have to do the 970. I just I just like to do overkill on my computers. I, you know, I go all out. I don't go cheap. I, I, I want the best. And you all want the best, you know. But sometimes we can't afford it, you know. And um, it's okay if you can't afford it. You could live with the next best thing, you know. And as long as you have the space... This M.2 is it's a it's an awesome thing, but I would prefer two M.2 slots to be honest with you, so I could have two M.2 terabytes in there or something. But that's probably the best thing, number one thing right here, and the extra memory, of course, I put in there. The extra memory helps out a lot, especially on video editing. Um, this machine does a lot of things, but like I said, flaws on it is the NIC card. The built-in NIC card sucks. 250 cap megabytes per second cap that's it good question and thank you thank you for the comments man bring them on right now um i'm just trying to see if i could get to the bottom of this one right here it seems like it's it, i gotta i gotta move it somehow this way try not to extract your views and there's tape in here that's blocking the whole damn thing whoever built this didn't think about the sausage hands sausage fingers I'm sorry <laughs> they they're really tucked in in here I feel it I just can't see it and th I know these two are part of that and then this one right here I got it I think I got it I think I got it and it goes back here and it goes in here and then go back in Jesus who, who built these things man Damn. I gotta cut something. I found it. Any other questions you guys have in any upgrades? Any computers that you guys are building? If you're building your first computer, uh, start with the hard drive. That's the number one thing I always tell people. Hard drive. You know, don't go expensive on the hard drive. Um, as long as it's a, it's a SATA drive, it could be a solid state hard drive or the M.2 hard drive. It's a good addition to, to start there. The reason I tell you that is because you want your OS to boot up from that instead of a mechanical drive. Um, it makes a lot of difference, especially on, on, on gaming. If you're going to use it for gaming, suggest you do it. If you're using it for graphics and other stuff, also it's another plus. But if you're just going to surf the internet and do your homework or and stuff like that and no gaming, then just stick with what you have, you know. Like this is this channel is more for advanced gamers, you know, the people that want to soup up and fix the computers and, and do some modifications. You're in the right place. Um, Christmas list is going to come out this weekend. I'm trying to finish the video today and it took me a long time. Finally, here it is. So this cable right here is the one that I have to disconnect to this one and I have to send it back this is a SATA drive connection so there's two SATA connections here in the back let's see if I could get you guys in there there's two SATA connections that connect to these two hard drives this is one of them and then the other one is somewhere here yeah here it is so this is it right here Halverson. I had to settle with a 3 GB GBX 1060 instead of a 8 GB 1080. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. There's a lot of machines. You should have got the 1080, man. It's going to be cheaper now, but 1060, you should have got at least pushed the 1070, to be honest with you. 1060 is just cutting right right in the edge of a lot of things that don't work with it very well. Um, what kind of games do you play with the 1060? Just to let you guys know, this is going to take quite a while, so sit back, get your popcorn, and the reason is, like, I wish I had a smaller finger sometimes, but no, nah, you know what? These strong pants need to be big, so screw that. <laughs> We're just going to pass this, and I'm not going to do any shortcuts because, like I said, this is my primary machine. I, I don't like to, to do shortcuts on what you use, you know, because some people tend to do shortcuts by not... Um, doing a cable management. That's what I mean cable management. It's important Especially on machines that tend to overheat and right now when you have all this stuff really close by each other It tends to heat up a lot and I feel the heat all the time That's why if you buy a machine like this You're gonna spend some time doing some quality work 
Um, one thing I do appreciate on the machine is that it does the updates a lot for the drivers and stuff like that, and they do help. Luke Halverson. I just play Fortnite. I am just a casual gamer. I play for fun. I mostly got the computer to run Corel. Oh, then if you want to do something and improve Corel, upgrade the memory. You need to upgrade the memory, right? Um, the current memory that you have, I think it's 24, 26 megahertz. Um, get something better, you know, but memory is expensive right now and prices are really pricey on memory. So, um, and they're going to get more expensive with the tariffs. So just to let you know, just, just be aware of that. So these two right here, these two connections are the hard drives that go on the outside and I disconnected the other hard drive. So we're pretty much going to send all the cables to the back. All these cables are going to go pretty much to the, to the back and push it back to the other side. So I was able to disconnect everything, which is good. We got the cable here. The hardest thing is just removing stuff, you know? It's just, everything's really tight on this machine. And they didn't make it enough space. I don't like that it's too tight, but I know what they were going for. It came with three two GB of DDR4. How many gigs? Two, uh, 32. Oh, 32. That's really good. That's good. That's good. DDR4. That's that's so that's a really good good thing. Yeah. So, uh, really good stuff. 32. Then you shouldn't have a lot of problems with anything that much. You know, you're capable of handling a lot of games. You could even play PUBG, uh, Battlefield. But on Battlefield, you're gonna have to dumb it down because 1060 has a lot of problems. Um, Nvidia updates their stuff make sure you download the nvidia experience anybody could download it right only the people that have nvidia the reason is that nvidia experience updates the drivers for any game so if you're playing fortnite right now nvidia automatically identifies that you have fortnite and you get to and it tells you please download the latest driver and you just install it and it automatically boots up and you don't have to really do anything by struggling and they have updates every other month now. So I would suggest start there. NVIDIA experience. You don't have to run it because it does run in the background. You kill it. Just open it up once in a while. And, and just make sure the drivers are connected. Now, a very important thing on that. Uh, on note, you have to create an account for NVIDIA experience. That's the only thing I, I, I can't help you there. Okay. So, we're going to bring the camera down. We're going to remove this part now. Luke Halverson just opened. Updating now. Told you. And like I said, if you guys want more suggestions and stuff like that, and if it's your first time here, guys, make sure you guys subscribe and you guys don't miss out any of these videos. You know, I, I from time to time I play a lot of games online. I'm an online gamer mostly. But I do a lot of upgrades on machines, I hardware and stuff like that. That's pretty much what I like to do. Uh, I have a lot of builds in my belt already. Shit. And um Throughout the years, I've just been improving uh, on, on builds. And sometimes, you know, these machines... Somebody asked me for this review, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I say, hey, you know what? I need to do that anyway, so why not? So whoever asking for this video, here's to you, all right? And thank you for that suggestion about upgrading this. Because I do need it, to be honest with you. Like I said, the only reason I do need it is because I do a lot of LAN parties. And I go to LAN parties. And um, and I'm not able to do to um, b add every single camera because it's not capable of handling the cameras, the qual, the the power supply for it. So let me move this to the side here, put it down here in the corner. So we're bring the camera up again. If you guys can't see anything or if you have any questions, like I said, it's a good time right now. We have a computer open. If you don't have this machine, it's okay. What I do here works on any other machine too, so it's good to learn, you know. It's, don't be afraid of opening your machine and once in a while, clean it up. <laughs> That's what I suggest everybody, clean it up. But don't clean it up when it's running. Turn it off first. So, pushing this to the back, it slides off, and the whole thing just came out just like that. Just simple. 
this is not simple to take it out it took me a freaking headache now this connection this power supply connection i don't have an adapter for it it's a smaller sata connection let me see if i could put it in the screen i don't have that one on this power supply so that's okay because that that was only powering the uh cd player i don't even need to see i never even knew i had a cd player so this power supply made in china made in china cheap power supply. I got, I got the computer, computer through Costco. Costco. I mainly went through them for their return policy and warranty. Yeah, Costco is awesome in buying computers, but they have sorry equipment. Uh, I'm sorry, but they, they have great policy. I buy stuff in Costco, but I don't fully like buy the best of the best there because they kind of tend to sell to the consumers, mostly not to the gamers. So right now, everybody's taking advantage of it. They know that gaming and PC is the number one thing happening right now. So a lot of these companies, Walmart, Target, they're targeting people like you, Costco especially. They put gaming in front of everything, VR or gaming ready, and they find suckers just like you guys to buy these computers that are not fully gaming supportive. I mean, that 1060, it's a low-end video card. It's just in the in the bottom of my list, I will say. I mean, 1070 is a good video card. I would push for that in the next one. But right now, don't, don't, don't. I'm not suggesting you buy stuff. I enjoy your stuff first. When you start hitting those games that are they're lagging and stuff like that, maybe the next step is to buy that video card. But for right now, you have a great machine. Don't get me wrong. You have a good machine, 32 gigs. You're playing very well. Everything's running good. Enjoy it. Enjoy as much as you can because computers <laughs> one year you have this type of computer next year you're gonna have a whole different change right now enjoy what you guys have right now you know I, like i started with um i think my first machine i ever built was 133 megahertz per second and it was my bread and butter for many times and then i had a, a diamond video card diamond diamond card i think it was and the, first i started with the voodoo card voodoo card was a fx card back in the days you know those were like the top-notch video cards, you know, and I'll tell you a story how I got it. So um, I ended up finding a, a, a this is where you get the best deals. And I'm going to suggest you guys do this once in a while. Uh, go to the, the penny saver, go to the, the recycler, any kind of, of, of newspaper clipping that they sell, used computers. Some people don't know what they have. So I ended up, I need a whole new computer and this guy was selling a computer for 50 bucks and back then the computers were a thousand bucks you know there were a ridiculous amount of price and i got to this guy it was in downtown la in the worst part of downtown la um it looked like a, a he was he looked like he was homeless to be honest with you but he wasn't he was just not there in the head and he lived in this complex that it was like it's like a freaking movie you go like in the in the Blade Runner kind of thing where everything's fucking dark and you're like everybody's looking at you like if you're the crack dealer or something like that. It was very sketchy, but for 50 bucks, I thought I was going to get my ass jumped for 50 bucks. So what ended up happen that I ended up going out there and this guy, you know, he told me, I'll bring down the machine. He brought the machine down. He goes, I and the newspaper, I put that it might not work very well. And I say, I understand. I, my thing was just to use the parts just for the parts. I was like, hey, he has a hard drive. He has a CPU. I could use the parts for 50 bucks. Great deal. Either way, I was going to get a great deal. The, back then, he brought one of the best computers I ever seen in my life. Back, it was To be honest with you, it was the best computer ever in that time. It was a, a Sony Vizio system these machines were over two thousand dollars three thousand ridiculous amount of money back then it was a lot more what it is now you know it was like unheard of visio um, um not visio uh, vial vial i think it was but the sony vials that's what it was awesome machines back in the day a desktop you know it's a high-end machine and the guy goes well let me tell you the truth i was trying to upgrade the memory and i kind of screwed up i i scratched the motherboard and it won't turn on that's what he told me I was like, okay, the motherboard's dead, CPU still good, the rest of the stuff still good. I'll take it either way. Fifty bucks, take it. Got the machine. I was like, oh my god, this guy gave me a, a vial, a Sony vial. I was so excited about it. And I say, hey, 
I got 10 bucks. Do you have anything else to sell? And the guy goes, well, I do have an old voodoo card that I just upgraded because he was a gamer. Somehow he was a freaking gamer. He sold me the voodoo card for $10. That voodoo card was like 250 bucks. You know what happened? I went home. I say, man, that guy screwed up a good machine. You know, I was all sad because the whole casing was brand new. Everything was brand new. Other than a little scratch he did on there. So it turns out that he ended up scratching the video card that was built in the motherboard. All I did is put the voodoo card in there. And here and behold, the whole system turned on. I freaking cried. I was like, you know, somebody that couldn't afford a computer back then. It was like a miracle. Like he had this answer. He had two answers in his hands that like he couldn't put it together, but you you can. And I put it together and the system turned on. I used that system for five, six years. And I, I didn't want to throw, I finally threw away like five years ago, I threw it away, you know, because that story, it, it stays here. And to me, honestly, these computers, you know, it was like the first time I ever put, I ever hacked a system together. That's why I said the best things sometimes are not in the stores. They're sometimes in people's garages and people's houses. So the thing is for you to educate yourself. I mean, if you find out about what's good and what's not, what CPU is out there, what is an i8700, you know, what is our DDR4, all that stuff, it's up to you because when you open a computer, if you don't know what you're looking at and it looks clean, it looks well, you might be buying a lemon. So not every single system out there is for everybody, you know, like I said, but I'm telling you a story because those are the best deals that I hear from people when they go into like recyclers and stuff like that. And they end up getting the best video cards. Sometimes, you know, they're just mothers that are pissed off at their kids for playing all day and they're selling the card and the, 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 the computer and the recycler and they go take it away before my kid comes, you know, I, it happened before. And, and, and um, Lots of times, lots of stories where people are just like this, this guy, I went to college with this one guy and he literally, Luke Halverson, you purchased yours, yours through Amazon? Amazon? Yes, I did. I purchased it through Amazon. I did purchase it. And it was during the high, before it got too expensive. I bought this one for 20, uh, uh, $2,000, $2,000. It was 2,100. It was really cheap. It was really inexpensive. But then now when you go back in there, they're like three grand, you know, close to two grand two two twenty five hundred. you know, really close to three grand sometimes, you know? So these days, you know, the machines it's because the hype of the Bitcoin is what messed up everything. When the Bitcoin started coming out, everybody wanted to buy high end video cards. The best thing is to buy packages like this, buy computers that have the card. So let me, let me give you another story here. I bought this video, this computer because I had a 1080 Ti and it was inexpensive. So what I wanted to do now these days, this year, I wanted to get this video card, the, the RTX 2080 Ti. I wanted to know how the fuzz was about. So what I end up doing, buying another desktop, a cheap, inexpensive desktop. And I did review it. It's the the PC. What's it called? It's a PC. I forgot the name of the damn PC. It's a cheap PC. It's not even worth it. This is the only thing that was worth it. So the machine was probably two two thousand bucks, but the card itself is thirteen hundred bucks. So I ended up buying that PC just for the stupid card because that PC is being used for something else. So sometimes you want to upgrade that way, you know, maybe upgrading. Don't always go for the best machine as long as they have the best card in there. That's why it's knowing, knowing your stuff is probably the best thing to do. And like I said, if you're not into that kind of stuff like I am, you know, suggest you start here. The, 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 the hard drive. Let me get some drink real quick, guys, because I am freaking thirsty. I talk too much and I tend to... <sighs> To get into all these stories and i appreciate you guys if you're first time out here make sure you guys subscribe and help out man we need some loving out here man what you say dog this guy wants to say something what you say what's up all right so let's continue with the build the the, the replacement of the hard drive so the best thing about this this system sorry guys let me move this out of the way Let me move you guys back a little bit in a little bird's eye view. And I had two different cameras. I try to get different angles so you guys won't miss anything, all right? So this tent, this was 
surrender to me it was given to me all right sponsored by mr ton Knopp out there i appreciate you thank you very much a colleague of mine that bought this for bit mining only used it for a month month or two evga 1000 is going in here so great thing about it if you guys notice that let me see see if you guys can see it <laughs> all the plugs you don't have to connect them you don't have to have a lot of wires in there running around which is one of the best things I love about this thing. Now, before I even put it in there, I want to make sure I have the right measurements. So, I want to slide this in there, but facing up because I want the air fan to actually be... Actually, it could go down the bottom better. So, I'm trying to find the best solution for this. Yeah, it's going to go to the bottom. So, I'm going to be facing the fan to the bottom because there is a suction underneath the, the system where it actually brings in some air or blows out some air either way so put this sucker in here it's a little big for this one that's what she said Jeez. am i even gonna fit in here yeah yeah okay so i'm gonna send this power cable first down the rabbit hole that's the only way it's gonna fit There we go. So keep more slack in there. Perfect. So we got the power supply in there. Now we're gonna screw it in there and it fits perfectly. I mean, everything lined up exactly like the old one. Um, if your power supply does not line up, it's because you have a cheap power supply. Make sure it does line up with the existing one. Not all the screws have to line up, but at least two of them, at least two screws have to line up, all right? Putting the screws in here. I do have brand new screws. I'm, I decided not to use the brand new screws. I'm just going to save those. So the first thing that I do, I just make sure I screw it in there. Suction comes in here. Perfectly comes in air. So as long as you have this kind of, um, let me see. Yeah, as long as you have this kind of space in the bottom, it's fine. But people tend to add shit underneath right next to it where all the air has to be sucked in. That's a no-no, man. Especially in the front of these computers. They suck it. They, they blow the air out through the front. And they suck it through the back. Wart Club 95. What's up? What's up, Wart 95? How you doing, man? And like you said, I have so many videos right now on YouTube. My primary is YouTube. I do a lot of... If you guys are not familiar, uh, please join me in YouTube, Twitch, Mixer. I'm doing pretty much... Um, Multiple formats. In fact, let me post up the site here so you guys can see it. And if you have time, subscribe. I need subscribers. I need some help. So we could get some videos like this out to you guys. So let me put it up here. And, and check out my videos. I got so many tips and tricks on it. On how to add better gaming machines, hardware, uh, monitors. Me, uh, uh, all sorts of things. I pretty much my I'm have a mess right now because I, I haven't even done VR. I have a VR system. I haven't even touched it for a while. I've been so busy on other stuff that it's just. I started 3D printing the other day. I had to stop it because it's just like I had to move it. What you want, ugly dog? My dog's here. So I'm gonna put the power supply exactly how it was. With this is a brand new power supply. Like I said, it's brand new. It's only been used probably less than a month. But it's got it's a 1000 EVGA GQ the gold edition. Um, they're pretty pricey these days. You can find them real cheap. You can find them from from 50 bucks all the way to uh, almost 500 bucks. Some of these things, you know. So uh, I do have some nice ones, some really um, good um, power supplies. But I tend to move on to the ones that I you could attach multiple connections like this one. This one I like about it because um, the SATA connection, everything unplugs. You know, you don't have to have multiple plugs in here, all of them at once. Like the, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a bit. Any questions anybody has out there? I'm trying to get the power supply connected. I'm trying to get that screw in there. There we go. Oh, it's not going through. Uh, 
Oh, I have to line it up. That's why it's not lining up. For some reason, the screws Underwater are. Underwater world. I have edited my new video by Duo Recorder in my Android mobile. There you go. That's how you start. I'm proud of you. Doing it yourself instead of asking for somebody to do it. Um, the more times you do it, the better you get at it, man. To be honest with you. Uh, that's what I always suggest have people uh, I don't like when people say can I have it free? Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have this for free Let me have the, let me do this. No fuck that shit. You got to earn it. You got to you got to make sure that You know you work hard for it. Why are you just gonna give it away? No, I don't give things away just like that I get something in return either you have to do a job for me or something or, or something a pat in the back won't work no more these days um that's the problem with us humans, you know. We tend to forget about how hard you had it in your life before. Even if you didn't, you know, it was harder times. And these kids today don't know the value of a dollar, don't know the value of work sometimes. They're not going to struggle as much as some people out there have, you know. That's why they need to start somewhere, you know. And Underwater world. I am uploading my video. All right. All right, so we, we tied that in. We're gonna send this power this power to the actual motherboard. We're gonna send it to the back. Make sure you guys are are, are capable of it watching. All right, we're gonna flip it. Flip it over. Put it through the back. Somewhere in here. This goes in here. It's a lot of slack, so it's perfect. Yeah. Looks like they have that one on sale for about 1900 down from 2300 That's really cheap. That's inexpensive. That's pretty cool, man. Didn't know about that. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. But wait until Christmas hits. Everybody's going to want that. Yeah, this is it. This is the one I'm adding right now. This is currently the one I'm adding. So this is a lot of slack for, for this um, power supply, which I like. Make sure I have enough power. This is the thing that you have to do most of the time. There's a lot of, like a puzzle piece that you guys, let me see if I can get you guys a little bit more in here. So you gotta, you gotta find a little niche, how they kind of go. And, and, and some of them are easy, some are super hard. There we go, there we go. Okay, let me make sure it tucks in, in here without messing the back of it. There we go. Um, no, 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 not very good because... Wait a minute, it is good. There we go. Sometimes I question my work a lot. It's good to question yourself, you know. I just don't want to make sure that... These are being extracted. So what I'm going to do with the extra, I'm going to just send it back and maybe zip tie it. See, I don't like this part. So I like to send them and make sure it's nice and tight in the back. So that's that will work right there. Now, these are the ones that I'm a little concerned, but I have a solution for them. So these two are the ones I'm going to probably send them through the back here. You guys see it. So let me make sure I'm going to show you guys a little secret here. This one has a lot of clips. You see that? I think I could reach out to this one right here and then or this one right here. But I think I'm going to just get it here. You put it back. It's aluminum so it's easy to grip on. And you're pretty much it. I'm going to plug this one back in here because even though I don't have power for it, I just don't like loose cables so that does it for the power supply we still need the cp we still need the cpu to come through here so don't forget about that one so people forget about those things the most important things the cpu so on this thing it's like a puzzle piece you let me see if i could take you guys a little bit in depth in there let's see you see that it's gonna be crowded in there. I might have to, <laughs> I might have to unplug these and then plug them in after, cause my my I don't think I'm gonna fit in here. But we'll find out. What you wanna do, dog? Give me you guys a second. I'm gonna put this guy inside. He's cold. Come on, Jax. Let me 
bring them inside. Give me a second, guys. cable so let me show you guys something about the power supply so the older power supply it came like this crap like this you know all this was unnecessary stuff that was in there uh, all this and it's a cheap power supply you know they didn't even power cord it the back end um, real cheap everything's packed in there the fans a cheesy little fan this is what came with that machine this is where they take the shortcuts a lot so we're not gonna do this. We're, we don't need that. We're just gonna add the power we need. That's all we do. So I might have to remove this because I don't know if I can fit my big sausage fingers in here. But we're gonna see if we can do that. So when you buy, they give you all these cables. But the great thing about it, they're all named there. SATA, um, they give you every single power supply that you're gonna need. But we're looking for CPU SATA 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 uh, where are you CPU CPU I think I passed them here it is so we're looking for the right cable VGA VGA put them on the side here it is ah, dropped it CPU very simple one cable it gives you the name it tells you right there CPU on these I love these these are the best ones man they give you the name and everything name number you got it everything's in there so we're gonna plug this sucker in here and we're gonna send them through we're gonna plug it in first and then send it to the back because this has to go all the way makes its, its way back there to here to one of the connections in here so make sure you measure them and these cables are long i love about them they give you long cables because notice that move it up a little bit it's a good distance of a cable so we're gonna plug the hardest part here and this part the CPU CPU plugs in and it's very simple sometimes but the space that I have here it's not very pleasant to, to plug in stuff there oh that was easy my bad never mind I take that back <laughs> so tuck it back in there Make sure it's plugged in. Make sure it's not loose. Um, keep sending as much as you want, even the excessive one, so it won't be extracting or heating up anything, uh, adding extra heat that we don't need. Uh, these two are the actual SATA drives that we're gonna connect right now in a bit for a power supply. We might just send them through the back here and here. So if you guys notice, I send it here. Let me see if you guys can see that. I send it through the back right here. And we're going to bring it back here. And the power supply is right here. So I'm going to grab it from one of these. One of these in here. Go in here. Go in here. Just follow the connections and just tuck it back in there. I'm not going to plug it in yet because um, it, might, it might overlap and I have to go in order so I could plug it in. I'll show you guys what I mean when I'm talking about. So just send the, the CPU, motherboard, the main important things are already connected in the system. We're not done yet. We need more. So we need the GPU, the SATA drives, this SATA drive, these two SATA drives. So from the SATA drives. They give you a great addition where they has two connections here on the SATA drive. And it says SATA. E obviously, it tells you what it is on these, on the GQ ones. SATA drive, additional connections, multiple SATA drives. One, two, three, and four. You can connect to up to four connections in here, which is great. So we're just going to need, require only two. Let me move this two connections. Two connections. Um, it could be any connections. They all power up, but I'm trying to save slack. So what I'm doing, 
I'm trying to make sure it's not slacking too much on the on the cables itself. So there's one, and then the other one goes in here. So we don't have too much of movement of the cables too. So that's one thing you got to make sure you you don't want to do tangle everything up in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this one through the back, and I'm, I could zip tie it. I could send it through the back actually. I should send them just through here, and come out through the back here in the shortcut so it, you know what that's a good idea Let's see if that works so I'm gonna send it right here okay We're still gonna we have a lot of slack so we might have to there we go We'll hide them in the back. That's what we're gonna do. Hide the connections right through the back. Nobody notices them. Right there. See that? Clean. In the back is where all the mess is gonna be at. Here it is. Just send them back in there. We tuck them in. We before we do that, we could tuck them in here. Tie that up. Pass them in there. We'll plug it in at the end. I'm not plugging anything in there. I want to make sure the cable management and this is flat enough where the system is going to hold this back end first. So that's why I I'm, I'm, I'm didn't plan it out very good, but it came out even better actually. So now that we have that, we have to do the, GP, the GPU, which is the video card. That's important. Are you guys following along? We're gonna flip it over again. I know I keep going back and forward with where I should be more obviously and 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 just but the thing is I'm trying to save space. So GPU is important. VGA. EVGA, this is these two will work. So all we need is two connections, which these two work. These two are part of the video card and that's it. Look how much you need of cable. They're all well managed. You don't have to need a bunch of thousand cables like the last one, hundreds of cables. It's going to keep airflow even more moving better than what you have. But like I said, they're pretty expensive, some of these equipment. But if you have the money, you can buy it. It's maybe I would suggest if you're ever going to upgrade, one of these suckers work really well. So we're going to keep these out here. But... I'm trying to save space and I'm going to send it to the back too. And we're going to have to tie it up somehow here where it or or coming up from the oh you know what? I got it. Coming from the from the actual hard drive better. Be much easier. They could hang over. It won't touch anything. It's just going to go up here on the top of it. So I think we're done. We're pretty much done. Let's put it together now. And send that cable back. Okay, send it back here. Actually, we missed one more. We miss. We need one more. We need one more. But you know what? I just noticed something. Uh, I could actually plug this one here and send it through here. I, I think I'm gonna plug one here. There's an additional connection that I could probably reach out. And plug in there. Let me see if I have enough slack. So, this one right here. Uh, let me see if I could have enough. No, I'm not going to have enough slack here. Oh, you know what? I probably will if I disconnect these two. Send this one back there. Yeah, you know what? One power. One will power everything up in here. Uh, this is even better better than uh, than expected so one SATA connection is gonna power all my hard drives in here so if I could find the right oh here connection there we go so that's gonna be here I'm not even gonna tuck it in I'm just gonna now we're gonna go to the front look at this beautiful right here here it is it's right here. I need more slack. A little bit more slack. Oh my god, it's right here. It's just right here. I just need to touch it right there. Let me give it some more slack if I can. 
Oh, I see why. Okay. Uh, maybe to the top. Let's see if it's the top better. Maybe through the top. Let's see if we could do it through the top better. Pass it in there. You just gotta fool around with it. You gotta find solutions for it. So a little bit more. Ah, ah, without breaking it, there we go. Oh my God! I think I, ah, even better. So I'm gonna be able to plug all my hard drives in here. If I could find a good. Ah, I'm a, oh, sorry, sorry. Move the camera a little bit. Let me see if I could plug this sucker in here. So obviously it goes in this way. Uh, I need a little bit slack, or it's gonna be really tight. So let me see if I could loosen up some more stuff in there. So I have this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to disconnect this one, tuck it in there to the back. see if I have enough okay I think this is probably it anything counts um, the hardest part is pretty much setting this lining it up here it is we're not breaking it there we go okay really tight but it's without breaking it and we have enough slack in here EVGA will go in here no, actually, this is out here. Underwater world. Is it done now? Almost, almost. So, I think I'm done. Let me just plug the cables in there. I might have to loosen it up so I could take it out and plug it in. I don't have space in there for my hands. So, that's going to be a problem right there. Oh, man. Okay, let's, let's, um, let's take this off again one more time. One more time because I, these sausage fingers are not gonna fit in that little little compartment right here. That's too little for me. So I might have to twist this a little bit and then plug it in and put it back in there. That's gonna be hard. So let's see if we can do it. All right. This is loose. Make sure I don't mess up anything okay I got access to everything so right now underwater I'm world gonna... are not going to sell any late to the show merchandise I am I am I actually um, I got a couple things coming up uh, I'm drawing a couple designs uh, I'm trying to make good stuff I don't like bad shit you know I like good quality stuff so I'm working on it but my show's not big enough to to start doing merchandise like that you know I got a couple of hats coming in I owe one to Lone Star he gets one for free and no questions asked <laughs> and I'm gonna give a couple away things too and if you guys like it yeah let me know but I'm working on that so right now I should be able to have SATA CPU EVGA and the CPU right here so three of them are should be connected that's all I need just three connections pretty much you know let me see if you guys can see it so I'm gonna try to lift this thing up and get some get connections. So right now, and put my glasses down. Underwater world, any giveaway? Yeah, yeah, we had one already, and somebody won a couple of things. Um, but not enough subscribers to give away lots of stuff. You know, I need. Lone Star, thank you, bro. <laughs> so here's one connection. This is a V EVGA. If you guys see it, I just plugged in. Can you guys see that? Yeah, so I just plugged it in there, the EVGA. Uh, CPU, it's back here, way back here. So this goes right here, and I need more slack. There we go. CPU in here. Now we need one more, which is the SATA. And I got to make sure it doesn't go underneath. It goes over. And this is it. The SATA will be SATA 1, SATA 2. I like it SATA 1. And 
that's it. We plug it back in. Make sure there's no cables in the bottom of it. World. My video is now uploaded. All right. All right. Let's put it together and let's crank this sucker up. But first, let's let's make sure all the connections are tied in in a bit. Put this in here. Power supply goes in. I'm making sure all the screws are back exactly how I had them. Um, I hope I didn't have any cables underneath that were in there. I checked them, but always double check your work, like I said, you know. Right now, I'm freezing up. I'm. <laughs> it's cold out here for some reason. It's it's actually 50 or 60 or something like that, but it's getting cold. I know. So you guys back east live in the winter, and you guys are used to it. Even the Canadian guys out there, like Rozzy. Is he in today? Are you online today? Hmm. It's pretty much. I'm, oh shoot! Oh man, I just dropped one. Damn it! Oh well, I'll find it right now and I'll screw it on. One more screw. All right. All right. Let me find the other one. I just dropped one right now. Oh, found it. Damn. Lucky day today. And if you guys notice, there's less cable management in there that you need to require. Because I didn't use... I didn't use... Let me get all the cables here. I didn't have to use all these. Look at that. Didn't have to use all these right here. It's incredible. Just... Three freaking cables will power the whole damn thing, which is great. So we, we're done pretty much connecting this. It's it's embedded really good. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, we're going to flip it over. We still need to plug in our, our, our power supply here. But look at this. I'm just going to run it like this exactly. It's gonna it's not going to extract any. It's not going to get in the way of anything. It's pretty much we're all done. So let's go ahead and close the back. Perfect cabling, everything went smooth. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Oh man, oh man, oh man, no, no, I just disconnected something. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Ah, damn it. Here we go. Alright. Ah, I think I bent my one well, one of my hard drives. Damn it. But oh no no, it's back on. Let's see. Okay, it's back on. Whew panic for a while I think I broke it that's why but nah I didn't Whew. I'm gonna disconnect it for now I'm not gonna even plug it in until I close the back in I don't want to deal with the back so not plugging it in sorry about that guy I thought I messed up right now but I almost did Whew. yeah just don't plug the other SATA yet like I did so I'm gonna make sure this has enough slack in there and everything's in there that's good so let's find the cover oh look how dirty this thing is man jeez look at that shoot oh, I think. all right that one's done Seal it. There's a little tuck in here. Make sure it's all. Oh, I have to seal it from the top like this. And then it goes in here. There we go. Two screws. Five screws. screw make sure it's oh, oh 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 it's not it's not screwed in it's not it's not tucked in right on the corner that's where you have to do let me see if I could get you guys a better view yeah this is still loose here somehow I have to slide it in there we go ah oh, 
man, come on, come on. Come on, stick it in. Oh, there we go. Damn. Got my shirt. <laughs> Alright, we guys we slide it in. It's smooth now. Should be able to lock it in. Okay. Not coming in yet. There we go. Line it up. Back base goes first. Okay, that's in. Next one, last one here for one side. We're almost done. I'm gonna power it up too and test test it out. Just make sure that power does work. If not, back to the drawing board. A little tight on this situation but now we're gonna flip it back one last time here and this is where the power that I need to plug in I'm Halverson, did you upgrade your keyboard and mouse from what they give you yeah yeah I did um, I did I did I'm using a, a Jaguar uh, no a Cougar keyboard cheap Cougar keyboard but I got some metal keys on it that I was able to replace uh, I got some really good keyboards that I haven't done a review on them, but I don't like wireless. So that's why I tend not to have wireless stuff. I'm thinking about connecting another SATA in here. I'm not going to connect that one. I don't want to. I'm a little afraid. I'll just keep this one. Uh... Let me connect another SATA. I'm afraid I might break it. So let's not take our chances. Let's just connect another one. BGA, BGA, I'm looking for the right connection. SATA, where are you, SATA? SATA, where are you, SATA, SATA, SATA? Here it is. And I'm, I'm gonna have to tuck this in here. Uh, let's connect it. And the easy part of the SATA, it's right here. We don't have to go anywhere. The SATA 2, which that's why I don't need to remove this no more. Underwater world. Where is Jax? He's in the house now. I put his ass in the house. I'm just gonna tuck this in here. Pretty much just plug in this cable here. Tie this up. Somehow tuck it in here. I'm trying to do cable management. And I don't really need this one anymore. I could just pull it to the back. But I do need this one. You know what? I'm gonna tuck it to the back here. In case I ever get another hard drive in here, I can always put this one in here too, so which makes sense. But this cable is too long. So we're gonna zip tie it. We're gonna zip tie all this right here. Plug this in. Plug this in and zip tie this whole thing and tuck it in there. So I do have zip ties ready. You know, when you buy a computer and you see how well the cable is in there, it's because those guys do their jobs, you know. And I, I, I take shortcuts. I'm not those guys. <laughs> so uh, I, I like shortcuts to do steams fast. But for the stream, I'm doing it nice and neat. Tuck it in there. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. So we're tucked in here. Have this whole power supply in there. It's all set up. It's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and... um. Put the VGA, plug the VGA, all right, the e, the the video card. Before that, let's do one last round of air support. Air. That should do it. Let's get in there. All right, move you guys back a little bit. Take a drink. Piece of resistance goes in here. Before we drop it, I want to make sure it drop it very well in the back. Okay. 
there we go it's well rested in there we still have to tie in the screws very important uh, I'm gonna do a, a um, I'm gonna actually take measurements here and I'm gonna do a, a custom piece here where it holds the video card and uh, I'm gonna do a video on that so you guys can see it from scratch how I 3d print the part and if you guys ever need a 3d part similar to what I'm gonna build let me know I'm willing to give it out for free just as long as you guys come back and watch me and do some stuff like this I'll be able to help you I'll custom print out a 3d print and I'm gonna put late to the show logo right here that's what I'm gonna do that's the only reason I'm gonna do it to be honest with you so I'm giving you for free if you ever need something like that. but we got to take the right measurements on the thing so here we are perfect timing look at this two cables ready to connect right here side by side don't have anything extracting or any obstacle in front of it and it's ready to go so we're gonna plug this sucker in here and they go side by side one here here's one come on come on come on there's one and then the other one but the other one kind of kind of fell apart right there there we go Now cross your finger, hopefully everything works. If it doesn't work, I think I know where, why it's not gonna work. If it doesn't work, because I, I didn't check the motherboard connection properly. I think it was loose, but... Shoot. Gotta mess around with this thing here. It's like a puzzle piece. You gotta make sure it... It doesn't grab on like it used to. When it was brand new, it, it probably did at one point, but today it doesn't. There we go, come on, come on. keep it together. there so we got the video card in now let's power it up let's power it up just as this so let me get a power cord one power cord coming up if I could find one here we go sorry guys let me get the power cord we're gonna if I could find a freaking power cord I had a bunch of them here oh found one Oh no, this is not it. Oh, hey, look at this keyboard. Look at this one. It came for a power PC. This is a good keyboard, actually. I like it. Cyber PC. That's the machine I bought. And I'll show it to you guys right now in a bit. But I need power. And that's what I'm looking for. Normally, I have my power supplies all over the place. Oh, here it is. So, we're going to crank it up for the first time. Cross your fingers. I don't have any hard drives in there. The additional hard drives. I don't need them. I, I just need that hard drive in there. Plug it in. Somebody's texting me right now. Let's see. Okay. So, let's power it up. And I'm going to turn it off right now. I'm just going to see if it... The power... Oh, here it is. Woo! It came on. We got it's live. The lights came on like I want. You can replace these. I'm gonna do a video probably later if you guys want me to. Everything came out. I see one that's a little loose, but I see the 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 fans working. Fans working. Everything is in place exactly how I planned it and I love it that way. I mean, it's Great if you guys See it from scratch from the beginning. I got you a bird's-eye view Luke Halverson. Yet I think it would be cool to see the lights replaced They're easy. I, I just noticed how easy they are right now that first time opening the light area These three lights could be replaced. I was thinking about putting a um, custom LGB uh, the LED lights custom lights like a turn off different colors I'm gonna do that and then replace the ones in the front I'm gonna have to figure out how to replace the ones in the front if you guys see them let me see these I still have to figure it out but I found the connection and I might be able to do it um, that's another idea but that'll be down the pipeline right now 
We're going to go ahead and take it inside. Good job. Take it inside and work it out. We have less cables than before, less of a mess, better airflow in the system, um, bigger heart uh, power supply. I can't complain about anything not working in here that you plug in. Um, hard drives came on. I could feel the hard drive running. Secondary hard drive, I'm going to plug in the other hard drives and we're all set. Anything else? I think we're done. And I think I'll come back later and play some games or something if I have some time because I'm a little tired too, you know, it's, what time is it? 9? I'll come back around 9.20 and probably play to 11 or something. But I just want you guys to check it out. Have you the new RTX Titan? I, I saw that. The price on it is $2,000 on it. Two grand! That's a lot of money! Come on. You seen it? Yeah, I, I seen it. I seen it. I... I know all about it. I got it. I got an email two days ago saying, you know, actually a week ago, saying, you know, hey, congratulations, you got uh, accepted to try one of our demos. But now we're gonna see. If we want to see if you wanted Underwater to try something. I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna play, play Battlefield, Battlefield Five. Yeah, Battlefield Five sucks. Didn't like it. So here we are. We we took off. The old power supply. Let me get it out. We replaced the power supply. This monstrosity of power supply, 500, 500 and four, what is it? I'll tell you exactly how much it is. It tells you here it's 570, it's 470 to be honestly. But it's on Chinese, so I can't really tell. But this is enough for it to power supply this th machine, which I'm more demanding of new stuff, new products coming in that I want to see more power to it. So good replacement. I did a, a replacement because I, I didn't think it was significant enough because I had problems with video cards, not video cards, but actual video um, webcams not working, multiple webcams not working. And we had to disable certain things to work. Now, the only thing I didn't get to work, work, finish working here is the CD player. but. I don't use the CD player. I don't need the CD player. I could buy a converter and add it in there. I'm not going to do that. I've never used the CD player. So if you're going to replace this, you might disable your CD player. Because this is a custom supply. If you guys see power supply, it's a P8. It's a smaller version of the existing one that we have. Luke uh, Alverson, very cool and thanks for the information. Very informative and I will be watching more in the future. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Come back anytime, man. And I have a lot of videos. And you guys, like I said, first time out here, you know, help out, you know, subscribe. I do a lot of retro gaming, too. I set up a couple things. I got another retro gaming that's coming in this week that I want you guys to check out. Um, actually, not this week. I'm going to be busy this week. Next week. So what happened was somebody loved my little machine I made, and they commissioned me to do another one. So... We're going to do a larger one, a big old cabin computer here. And not only that, I'm going to oh, add stuff. Flame. G-G-L-O-L. Horrible oh, flame. What's up? You know, I'm going to add a lot of stuff into it that you guys are going to love. Uh, I'm going to soup up this one machine that's going to go built in that actual cabin. So it's going to be an arcade slash gaming machine. Like You're going to be able to play every single game on this monstrosity machine so i'm taking the gutting of an old machine i have it's not old it as a 1080 video card and i'm gonna add it in there and see what we can get out of it. that's my next project i got like 20 projects in my pipeline unfortunately i can't do all of my ones i'm trying to do one at a time this was somebody that requested to me to replace the power supply which i was going to do it to begin with so perfect timing you know and um, just to let you guys know, if you guys have seen my other show too, I have another show called Upgrade. It's about all about hardware, computers. And if you guys want to check it out, if you guys like cars, I just went to the car show in um, LA and I put all the videos in there. Great, great cars. If you guys, the number one thing, Jeeps. Awesome cars. You guys got to check out the 2019 Jeep coming out, uh, especially the Rubicon. Oh my God, it was incredible. Um, I do I could put a link here. Uh, in fact, I do have a link on, on the description down below on upgrade Check it out if you guys want to see Computer desktops laptops. I open them up. I don't really Do a lot of like uh, Benchmarks on them because 
I only do benchmarks on computer games, gaming computers, you know. But I do have 3D printers and stuff like that. I talked about lighting and all sorts of things. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, hey, check it out too. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming down. Thank you for hitting me up, man. Thank you very much, man. And thank you for subscribing. And check out the show, man. We do a lot of reviews on a lot of videos. I have tons of videos out there. Um, I'm going to try to add. If you guys have any requests for any additional stuff, um, check it out. This year, I spent maybe seven grand on one la one desktop I built. It had two 1080 Ti video cards. But now, they're asking me to do another one. So this year, 2019, that's coming up. We're going to build a Titan. We're going to add two Titans on there. Yeah, you heard me right. Yes, Lone Star. I want you to check it out. Two Titans on one desktop. We're going to see how strong and powerful that is. It's it's my on uh, my things to do 2019. So uh, I think that's my next project. If you guys haven't seen the i9 that I built, it's probably the most expensive machine I have built in a while. Uh, I took the specs out of the Origin machine. Uh, it, original price was 10 grand. Save the company like three grand just by me building it myself. Um, check it out, fully loaded. Wow. Yeah, so I'm planning Lone Star to put two Titans in there. World. Are you not going to play Call of Duty for Black Ops? Yeah, I am in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'll come back. But right now, I just wanted to make sure that this thing, this baby, is up and running because this is where I'm going to play Black Ops. This is where it is at. This is the bread and butter. I do my editing videos, um, 3D. Uh, Unity, Unreal Engine, How everything. much RAM last one was 128? That's right, 128. All eight slots were packed. <laughs> You're right. So if you guys haven't seen that review, check it out, man. It's in there. It, it, it um, uh, Also, Cyber PC. Let me turn this off and bring Cyber PC, guys. Uh, another great buy I want to talk about. So let me turn this off. Let me just disconnect it. I know we shouldn't do this, but I want to rush it. And bring in this machine I have. Let me put this here and and talk about Cyber PC. Remember I talked to you guys about the video card? Wow, here it is. Oh my god. Whew. Here it is. So on Amazon, if you guys check out, if you want a, a, a 2080 Ti video card, buy this desktop instead of buying the card. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but you get a desktop. If you're gonna pay thirteen hundred for a video card, might as well freaking buy a computer. This was an Amazon for I think two thousand dollars. So yeah, you're gonna pay a little bit. You're gonna pay seven hundred dollars more, but this is what you get. Let's open it up. This is a plus for the video, guys. I was supposed to end it a while back, <laughs> but you guys are making me stay. So. What you guys get, this is not the video card. This is the Omen video card that I have in here. This is the Omen video card that I, I took it out. Power supply, I, 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 it's all underneath. It's a cheap power supply. Cheap motherboard. Well, the motherboard is pretty good. Underwater MSI. World. Are you streaming at your garage or storeroom? Um, I'm streaming in my little office here. You can see my office. I have a little office. All my my green screen, my 3D printing, my retro gaming system. Uh, does it look like a does it look like a garage? <laughs> so, it's a man cave. I don't call it garage. <laughs> so, this system Red came up. with a water cooler. Play. Oh Enjoy man, Rebel! Oh, thank you, man. Red thank you, brother. Thank Play. you very much, Rebel, man. You you Enjoy rock, man. Content, you rock, man. Luke thank Halverson. you, guys. Could you put the Amazon link for that PC? Definitely. So this cyber PC, I, first I want to thank Rebel Flame, man. Thank you guys. Thank you for the love, man. And I hope you guys enjoy the upgrade I just did right now. Uh, on this machine, I do have it. It's on my website. It's on the YouTube channel. Check it out. Cyber PC. Uh, the, it, came, it came with this great keyboard. I, I think it's a good keyboard. Cyber PC keyboard. It came with this one. And it gave me a good mouse. Let me see if I have the mouse. Fortunately, I don't have a mouse here, but I have it somewhere in here. The keyboard's pretty good. I like it. It's they're all wired. They're not wireless. Um, like the keyboard. Uh, I like the whole setup they gave me. Uh, 
the memories a little sorry memory that came with it i have the links located on the amazon link if you look if you search for the cheapest um just type in on the amazon put in um rtx 2080 ti and you'll find that this machine is the cheapest machine out there right now currently right now but i can't predict the future christmas is coming around the corner pcs are a hot item for christmas they're gonna sell out a lot of places they're gonna jack up the prices cyber pc is located in asusa in the city of industry they're close by me uh i seen them at e3 this year last uh, well this year at e3 i met um i think they're it was one of their main developers one of the of the cyber pc and to be honest with you, it's cheap material this this desk this desktop it's not something i will get it's it's there's plenty of good big space in here but the desktop itself it seems like a little fragile you know it's like cheap material um they did a shortcut on the power supply um uh, they 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 did a couple of things that i think that they could have done a little better uh instead of they put the fans in here in the front there's not that much space of a gap to get some air there's a little gap in here let me see if i can show you guys a little gap little gaps right here of air even though let me bring in that camera closer in there they have space up there to add this stuff but the reason they did that is because they want to light up the show in fact let me sh plug it in so you guys can see what i'm talking about here we go so i'm going to turn it on right now oh i turned it off <laughs> there we go there it goes so look at the lighting and let me turn off some lights here so you guys can see it this is pretty cool i like this part lighting's there a and the both of them light up this one in the back of it the ones that go right in, in between the radiator awesome devices right here you know now it doesn't come with this video card it comes with the rtx 2080 ti underwater this world se you at the, the next, next live stream. stream all right underwater world thanks for coming so are these rgb lighting you know they don't change color i'm sorry they're not rgb lighting they're just led lights red you can modify the color but i found out you could modify the color in the back of the the seat in back of the motherboard the controller is located in the back i'm not familiar with it i haven't messed with it yet i'm still working on some details but i think if i mess around with it i'll be able to change the light maybe if all three colors are included in there so right now currently red is in there the motherboard is a really good motherboard, a 730 Underwater Pro. Underwater World. Also, also don't, don't forget, forget to land, to land at, the at the River Town at the first match. <laughs> I will. I won't forget. So on this one, it didn't come with a, a SATA drive that I personally would have added the SATA drive. It came with a mechanical drive. So they did save money on not buying a SATA drive. Uh, if you see, there's a slot in here for M.2. The M.2 goes in right in there between. So it's a good thing that they have this machine, but they did a lot of shortcuts on it. The motherboard itself, it's an MSI motherboard. It's a really good motherboard. Um, it came with cheap memory, of course. They don't add the, it's a 2600 megahertz memory. Um, it's a i8700, it's a 4.1 megahertz, I believe, uh, on the speed itself. I have to go into details. Uh, the video card was the only thing I really bought this machine for. RTX 10, uh, 2080 Ti. The card, like you say, you look it up, it's 1300 bucks. You pay $700 for this more, which it's not a bad deal, you know? This is not my main machine because obviously there's only 16, it comes with 32 gigs of memory. It does come with 32 gigs of memory. They do give you the memory. Rushy rushes, should I be reporting for duty soon? Yes, sir. Give me 10 minutes. We'll be on in 10 minutes, right? I'll be there in a bit. So definitely, definitely, no stagger today, just you and I. So it does come with uh, it does come with uh, the the wireless device, which the motherboard does not provide. They actually give you a card, a wireless card in here. If you guys see it, so it's not a bad buy. If you guys check out the video, it's in there. It, I have the video somewhere in my lineup. I do uh, under all this um, streaming today. You know, I do a lot of computers. I look. Uh, editing and a lot of stuff that goes into these things but check it out man it's in there cyber pc i'm not going to talk too much about this because i did a whole review on it i did a little benchmark on it great machine this will run any game right now especially with the video card that comes now this is my omen card 
this is a 1080 Ti that I took off from the Omen, and I and I swapped the cards. So, like I said, my Omen's is what I'm using right now, and the motherboard, it's pretty good. I mean, you guys have to change the RGB lighting on the motherboard. Um, there's two colors only settings on it, and you have to go and download the application too. Now, I, like I said, I'm gonna try to mess around with the RGB lighting on these things, see if I could change them from red to another color, but. I'm not quite sure. I'm not. I'm totally new with this. There's a whole. There's a control panel right behind this this motherboard on the other side that I haven't. I'm not familiar with it. I'm gonna go in depth and see if I could do a little management on that. Other than that, I wanted to talk to you guys and let you guys know I did a review on the PS PlayStation Mini yesterday, and guess what? Take a big guess. It's been hacked. All you gotta do is plug in a freaking coarse air control uh, uh, keyboard, coarse air mouse. You can manipulate the system to change it from PAL to NTSS, and you'll be able to add different games. Coming soon, we're gonna do that. We're gonna add the games that we wanted. We're gonna take those piece of crap games that we didn't want it, and we're gonna add the games that we actually wanted. So it's probably worth buying the PlayStation Mini and you want to stick around. So other than that, I'm going to call it a day on this stream. I'm going to come back and play Black Ops. My my homeboy out there, um, Rushy Rushy is waiting. So we'll come back and play in a bit and we'll try to chase that, that win again. All right. I'll see you guys on the next time. And thanks all of you guys, especially the one guy that just gave me $5 right now, Rebel Flame. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother, for coming in and, and give him some loving out here. And, um, like I say, I do this for fun. I do this for you guys. And um, gaming's my life. Lone you know? Star. Later. I'll see you guys later on the next stream. Thank you guys for coming. Out.